Can you please introduce yourself? My name is Tracy Black. I'm the President and CEO of Payments Canada. What does Payments Canada do? Payments Canada owns and operates core payments infrastructure on behalf of the Bank of Canada. Our systems clear and settle more than $400 billion worth of payments every single business day, uh, and we underpin the Canadian economy. Excellent. What are the hot topics at Cybos 2023? Uh, there are a lot of hot topics uh, at this conference, and one of the things that makes this conference so special is the global nature of it. So I've had, a, uh, I've had an opportunity at, at past conferences and look forward uh, at this conference to hearing from my global counterparts. Uh, things that are of particular interest to me from a Canadian perspective are real-time payments. Uh, we're also interested to hear how ISO 20022, that message standard, how that's being adopted. Uh, we're very interested in the data-rich payments that ISO will offer. Uh, we are interested to hear about the experiences of other countries as it relates to uh, services like confirmation of payee and uh, digital addressing of payments. Uh, and also, uh, we're prepared to be surprised by things that we weren't expecting to hear about. Uh, one of the things I, I do anticipate having conversations about uh, is cross-border payments. Uh, so the connection of different real-time payment systems, like domestic payment systems, to support the cross-border exchange of value. How do you best describe Payments Canada's role within the payment ecosystem? Payments Canada uh, provides core infrastructure, uh, as I described. Uh, and our role is to ensure that this infrastructure operates as expected. Uh, so we're very focused on making sure that payments are safe, uh, secure, that our systems are resilient, uh, and that the, that the funds can continue to flow in Canada as expected. Uh, we also convene the industry. We're a member organization. We have over 100 member organizations. Uh, and we bring our members together to discuss current payment systems, to discuss trends in the payments ecosystem, uh, and to uh, help us deliver against our mandate uh, to deliver payments for Canadians and Canadian businesses. Excellent. What are some of the payment trends reshaping Canada's payment landscape? Payments have really evolved uh, globally since the pandemic. Uh, payments Canada publishes a report called the Can Canadian Payments Methods and Trends Report. Uh, we publish that annually. The next edition will be out in October. Uh, and what we've observed over the last number of years is a real migration to digital payments. Uh, so obviously in the pandemic when uh, Canadians were not able to get out and transact face-to-face, uh, -face, we saw a pretty significant increase in the use of digital transactions. We've been interested to observe uh, if that trend was going to change and what we're seeing is that those payment behaviours are persisting uh, and that Canadians are continuing to demonstrate a preference for digital payments. So that's, uh, that's important. From a, from a payments perspective, uh, because those transactions, those experiences, uh, they'll continue to evolve. Uh, as, as we get used to transacting digitally in uh, new ways, we tap our cards now a lot. Uh, we see a lot of in-app payments using the mobile device. Uh, we'll continue, I think, to see uh, the leveraging of technology to support seamless, secure payment transactions. Thank you. What key initiatives has Payments Canada been focused on over the last couple of years and looking to the future? Payments Canada has been on a, a very significant journey to modernize Canada's payment systems. This journey began in 2016 uh, and we continue today with the sort of the last home stretch of that, um, of that initiative. So over, over that period of time between 2016 and today, we've made modifications to our batch payment system. Uh, we have completely replaced our high value payment system and we're in the process of developing a real time payment system. Those are massive, massive programs uh, and we have been uh, very grateful to our ecosystem, our members, our regulators, our stakeholders in their support uh, in supporting us in, in the successful delivery of these large programs. Great. What's your vision of what the future of payments would look like? That's a challenging question. Uh, I think the trends that we have seen in payments, faster payments, more data with payments, uh, different payments experiences, embedded payments, uh, things like uh, Uber, for example, where you don't even see the payment, 
uh, those look very simple and seamless to the end user. There is a lot of work that happens to make that seamless experience occur. My expectation is that we will see continued uh, enhancement of existing payments experiences, and we'll also see payment experiences that we probably can't predict today. Uh, we expect over the next number of years that our ecosystem will start to really delve into the ISO 20022 payment standard uh, to understand about the payment information that can actually travel with the payment and how that information can be used to create new experiences uh, and to provide more insights about customers and to support the development of, of all kinds of products and services. Thank you. What's the latest news about Payments Canada? Uh, well, I mentioned that we have this uh, massive modernization program that we've been working on. Uh, we're also continuing to work on the resilience of our systems. Uh, as a provider of core market infrastructure, it's essential that our systems remain secure uh, and efficient. This year, we'll launch uh, a program uh, that sees the introduction of a third site for our high value payment system. Uh, and that's, you know, I'm hoping that we never need to use it, but if we find ourselves in a situation with payments in Canada that requires an extreme contingency type of solution, we'll have that in place. So we're always thinking about the belt, the suspenders and the belt uh, to make sure that payments can continue to flow. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Thank you.